In this video, we'll cover Citrix SD-WAN's functionality of providing low latency Office 365 connectivity, leveraging local internet breakout from a branch site. Before we begin the demonstration, I would like to review the network topology used for this demo. In this environment, we have enabled local internet breakout for our branch site, making use of the available internet WAN link for that site. To address the failure scenario when the internet link is unavailable, the SD-WAN configuration has been enabled to support backhaul of internet bound traffic through the data center as a transit site when needed. We can confirm this functionality by looking at the route table of this branch office SD-WAN. Route number 12 provides the local internet breakout leveraging the internet service and has an administrative cost of 5. Route 13 provides the backhaul capability for internet bound traffic through the virtual path service between the DC and this branch office site, and it has a higher cost of 11. The higher cost route will not be used by the system unless the lower cost route is unavailable. With this functionality, the SD-WAN device at the branch site will periodically reach out to Microsoft to obtain the latest Office 365 policies via API. Citrix SD-WAN then leverages these policies from Microsoft to properly identify traffic on the first packet and deliver to the nearest Office 365 front door, providing the lowest latency connection and highest end user experience possible. With the network understood, we will log into the host machine at the branch office site. With local internet breakout being enabled and that internet link available, first we'll run Microsoft's network assessment tool to test connectivity from this site to their services and generate some Office 365 traffic on the host machine. From the results, we can see that we are actively observing 22 millisecond latency with the Citrix SD-WAN solution providing front door handoff for Office 365 traffic. This results in the highest user experience for any Office 365 applications, which include better interactivity with the application and quicker transfer times of files downloaded and uploaded. We will now purposely bring down the local internet WAN link for this branch site, but before we do that, we're going to increase the latency through the remaining MPLS link that will be used to backhaul traffic. With the internet link brought down, leaving only the MPLS link as active, and the LTE link still in a standby mode, the system will fall back to backhaul route through the transit site. We can rerun the network assessment tool to analyze the current state of the network with the internet link being down. And now we'll notice a higher latency of over 100 milliseconds in access to those Microsoft services, as the traffic is taking the less optimal route through the network. The user experience in this scenario is not high with less than optimal interaction with the apps and slower transfer times. However, business productivity continues with the Citrix SD-WAN solution doing what it can with the available network. We will conclude the demonstration by restoring the internet link for the branch site. The more preferred route is then seamlessly re-enabled on the SD-WAN and the lower latency Officer 65 front door access is automatically restored. This concludes the demonstration of optimizing Officer 65 traffic with low latency connectivity using the Citrix SD-WAN solution.